Virginia. The prosecution is expected to rest today in George Hughley's murder trial. On Tuesday, doctors gave graphic testimony of how his ex-girlfriend, fellow University of Virginia student Yardley Love, died two years ago. Whit Johnson is at the courthouse in Charlottesville, Virginia. Whit, good morning. Erica, Charlie, good morning to you. <clears throat> the, the one medical expert revealed in the courtroom for the very first time that following Yardley Love's brutal beating, had George Hughley or anyone else called for help, she might have survived. In a tortured day of expert testimony, jurors learned that star UVA lacrosse player Yardley Love died slowly over the course of two hours face down on her bed. The prosecution claims on that night nearly two years ago, George Hughley barged into Love's apartment in a drunken rampage, slamming her head repeatedly against the wall. In court Tuesday, Hughley's defense faced an uphill climb. Through extensive show and tell, medical experts seemed to agree that Love's death was the result of her head whipping violently. One neuropathologist who examined her said her brain twisted one way, then the other way, with sudden acceleration and deceleration. But under cross-examination by the defense, none of the witnesses could pinpoint whether that snapping of Love's head came from a punch, a fall, a shake, or something else. You can see that the defense is trying to poke little holes in several different places. Uh, the question is, will it really matter very much? Hughley's attorneys argue that perhaps Love died in part due to a combination of prescription Adderall and a blood alcohol level of 0.14. But Tuesday, the experts concluded that the alcohol and the Adderall, taken for attention deficit disorder, were not at lethal levels. The defense strategy appears to be multifaceted, and that makes sense because they don't have one single strong theory. So they have to put up a bunch of different arguments and, in a sense, try to create weak spots. Still, the driving argument for the defense is that George Hughley never intended to kill. They say this was all a tragic accident, that he does not deserve a life sentence, but instead a lesser charge and a second chance. Whit Johnson for us in Charlottesville this morning.